Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Donnie here, and I'm back with another installment of my classic TV Spotlight series. Uh, this video actually comes by request from my good friend Grip, uh, so I hope this video is to your liking. Uh, this, I, the topic of my video is actually uh, going to be about sports, but it is does involve TV and more so uh, sports relate uh, relationship with television. Um, as right now we're in September and just uh, football season is just starting and getting into gear and I'm a big football fan so I figured it was the right time to do this video. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the infamous 1968 Heidi game and I'll get into why it's called the Heidi game later. But a little background. Um, back in the 60s there was a game between the Oakland Raiders and the New York Jets. And back then, uh, games uh, moved pretty quickly. You know, nowadays, you know, games can go pretty long. You know, for the actual action is supposed to be 60 minutes, but we all know that games don't last that long, that they're usually on television for three to three and a half hours. Um, you know, because of halftime and in between quarters and commercial breaks and all this good stuff. And, but back then, wasn't really, uh, was relatively, uh, games finished relatively quicker between then. Instead of between three and three and a half hours, games were over usually between two and a half to three hours. So the three hour time slot that the that NBC had given this game uh, was considered pretty uh, standard, and you know that they didn't really expect games to run over. So, and because this was wasn't a very um, regular occurrence that a game might run over, uh, networks didn't have really the protocol in place of what to do if a game wasn't finished in the a lot of time slot. So immediate so this game was supposed to end. The television feed was supposed to only last until seven o'clock. When afterwards uh, a made for TV movie called uh, Heidi was supposed to air. Now Heidi was this much anticipated made for TV movie. It was about a young girl uh living in the country with her family. It's kind of like, think Little House on the Prairie, the Waltons type. type. So, obviously a bit of a different audience than a, a football game. So, as the, this game this game between the Rays and Jets was going on, was going on um, a little longer than expected. There were a lot more stoppages at the clock. There were several I injuries during the game where they had to stop the clock. Uh, they threw. There were a high number of passes thrown between the two quarterbacks, and and uh, you know with you know and cl clock will stop on there. Uh, it was a high scoring affair, so you know the clock stops at their scoring place. So. As you can see, it was uh, delaying the game a lot. And as it was going on, the executives at NBC started to see that this game will probably not end by 7 o'clock. And they were wondering, what should we do? Now, this Mave TV movie was really hyped, and there were commer commercials and advertisements about the new Mave for this new movie on airing on NBC, and you got to watch this, this nice, wholesome family entertainment, and you know, so it was kind of a big, it was kind of a big deal. And you think about this, this is back when you only had four, like what, three networks, and you know, and reruns really weren't a thing. So like, you know, it was before DVR and DVDs, ever, you know, all that stuff. So. You only really had one opportunity to watch something. If you didn't watch it, you didn't see it. So there was a lot of hype behind this, and they were worried what were they going to do. So they were back. So they were going back and forth. Now, 
uh, some uh, executives at NBC decided that they were going to show show the game in its entirety. That if it ran late, they were going to show it. They were going to start Heidi late, but that didn't happen. It didn't. Uh, the word didn't get passed down to the appropriate people because. This is kind of funny. The phone lines were blocked because as the game was going later, fans of both the game of both the teams and fans of Heidi kept calling NBC and asking, you know, what's going to happen? Are you guys going to keep showing the game? Are you guys going to show Heidi on time? So the circuit board was going to uh, maxed out, and I. So because of that, they they couldn't communicate to the control room that we were going to keep showing the game. So so they decided right at 7 o'clock, with the game still going on, they stopped the, cover, stopped the coverage and began Aaron Heidi. Well, this sent uh, football fans into a real tizzy. You know, especially fans of the two teams were, were very upset. Now, what was very funny was that the Jets were winning the game when they stopped showing. But the but the Raiders wound up mounting a comeback and scoring twice, like in the uh, final few minutes of the game, to win the game forty three to thirty two. And that was also and that was also key because a lot of you know Raiders fans got to miss you know their team's big comeback. You know, so later on, NBC you know was trying to you know figure out what to do and let people know the score of the game because this you know this is before ESPN, this is before like internet and twenty four hour news where you can easily find high. You know, not as you can easily find highlights, you can easily get updates on on scores and whatnot. You know, back then that wasn't wasn't the deal, it wasn't the case. You know, you would have to wait until your uh, t- you know, your late local news to find out to find out scores of games or the paper the next day. So, NBC wanted to show the to show the people what the final outcome of the game. And they, I guess they thought that maybe some fans, you know, uh, were watching Heidi after the game. So they decided to scroll uh, the score update across the bottom of the screen. Well, this kind of upset uh, Heidi fans because this happened to be during a very emotional part of the movie. Uh, apparently, there was a character as Heidi's cousin who. Uh, was paralyzed, but was taking her first steps, you know, and it was a big kind of emotional moment, you know, a tear-jerking moment in the film when during this scene, you see sports update, Oakland Raiders defeat New York Jets 43-32. to So it upset, you know, people watching the movie, the filmmakers, and, you know, and people involved with it so so NBC really kind of fumbled this opportunity no pun intended <laughs> or pun very much intended so so it's just a little uh interesting anecdote you know this this uh this game has been living in uh, infamy for years. It was actually years later was voted uh, the number one uh, most memorable regular season game of all time. You know, because really think about it, when it goes to the regular season, it's a art. You know, as opposed to playoffs and what and whatnot. You know, you don't really remember the regular season as as much. So it makes a lot of sense that something like this would make it, you know, this game in particular stand out. Um, now, since then, you know, now we were on a custom that film that shows, you know, will be preempted 
whatever is airing next. You know, they will show the game in its entirety before uh, showing its next program. And and in fact, you know, NBC later installed Heidi phones so that they could communicate if they had to communicate like you know quickly to control room or whatever they you know it could go right to them and they won't you know if the phone lines are backed up after that so became a funny little interesting so you know it made this you know just a regular regular season game pretty memorable but it also uh it made this kind of like this nondescript uh, made-for-TV movie, which probably would have gotten, for, you know, forgotten after a year, you know, years down the line. Now, over 50 years later, is still being remembered. So, this is a funny little uh, sport and television moment in history that I always just found fascinating. So, thank you, Griff, for the suggestion. And um, as always, I'm always open to new suggestions and uh, for video topics whether it be t uh, TV shows, movies, whatever. Um, so let me know. Like, like this video, comment, subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.